I'm going to turn this valve cover around for you and kind of let you see what that looks like. Hopefully that, that shows up good. So what we have is uh, a spray jet for each individual rocker arm. Uh, it's fed by an orifice uh, fitting right here that'll go into this, uh, to this elbow. What that does is that regulates how much oil pressure. Uh, so coming off from the oil cooler supply to the turbocharger, it's a very small amount of oil that runs through a, uh, a restrictor or an orifice here. And that orifice actually goes into these jets and it's a machined galley that runs all the way through the valve cover, as you can see. Now that does dual purposes. One is we noticed that after we began to put oil on top of the valve cover, <clears throat> uh, or excuse me, through the valve cover on top of the rocker arms, uh, what that would do is that would muffle the engine down about 10 decibels at idle, which is pretty drastic. Um, it's a huge audible difference. You can definitely tell when one of our valve covers are on uh, any engine without popping the hood, just because of how much quieter it is. Uh, the second thing uh, is obviously that it uh, eliminates the issue that they had from the factory of the rocker arm failure, which can prevent engine damage. The third thing that this actually does is it provides, because it runs through the valve cover itself now on the second gens, now note this is only on the second gens, and that's the only ones that, uh, we've been making second gens for uh, a few months now, um, but what this does is this oil galley that's actually running all the way through it provides a heat sink to the rest of the valve cover. So we're actually seeing oil temperatures drop five to six degrees uh, from this uh, valve cover itself.